YouTube, 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 YouTube. How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing? 2018 is almost over, and um, by the time you're watching this, it's probably one or two days before 2019. And all I can say is, man, 2018 was a great year of music, and overall, I just really enjoyed 2018 because um, a lot of ups and downs, but overall, I achieved some of the goals that I set for 2018 and I'm still here man God still got me standing doing my thing so 2019 it's going to be an even better year for all of us so let's just keep striving keep doing our thing man and I wish y'all happy new years so with that being said man my final top 10 rap album of 2018 um if your album if your favorite album is not on my list it's okay you know we just listen to different artists it's okay it's all right um Number 10, I got Cardi B, Invaded or Privacy. And I know some of y'all are probably looking at me like, bruh, what? Honestly, the first time I heard that album, I was kind of iffy about it. Then I heard it about two months back, and I'm like, yo, this album is pretty good. The way Cardi B was just rapping, and I know she got, uh, I like it like that. That song right there, I love that song, man. I really do. Um, but... Cardi B overall really just took over, you know, 2K18, bro, because she did her thing. 2017 was her year, but 2018, she she came. She came hard, dog. I ain't going to hold you. She came hard. Um, I really did enjoy Invasion of Privacy. At first, I didn't really know, like, I didn't know how to come into Cardi B album the first time I heard it. And then listen to it again, I'm just like, yeah. This is it, man. It was kind of hard to put her at number 10 because I still got Kanye West with Ye. Um, I got Drake with Scorpion. I got Lil Wayne. I got Eminem. I got Metro Boomin. I got Jay Rock. I got Post Malone. But it's just like Cardi B, that album hits. You feel me? It just hits. And then I'm going to place that as my, you know, top 10 album of the year. Um, number nine, I got Mac Miller swimming, and honestly, going back to that album, bro, it, it really, it really touched me. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm not trying to be a little wet right now, but listen to that album, that joint, bro, son. R.I.P. He not here with us right now, but swimming was an amazing, amazing work. Um, like the feelings that Mac Miller put into that album. And just the way the production was, it was just an amazing work. And to put that in my top 10, I really, I really keep that, man. Because that album really, really did amazing. Your track. My favorite song from that album is actually Hurt Feelings. And um, 2009, those are my best songs on the album. So yeah, shout out to uh, Mac Miller, man, with Swimming. Number 8. Now, this is probably going to be shocking to a lot of you guys, but... He did a comeback, um, 2018. My boy Meat Mill Championship at number eight as the best rap album. Actually, my top ten best rap album. I'm gonna put Meat Mill at number eight. Championship. It's just like, bro, championship. Meat Mill came overcame a lot of things in his life, and when Meat got out of jail, a lot of people was like, yo, is Meat gonna drop an album? Is me gonna come back? A lot of people say meet for love, meet this, meet that, and then boom. I think he dropped the album in, on, on November or December. I don't know, but it's rather I, I think it was no I don't know. But when Meek Mill dropped that album championship, just the first couple songs already got me hooked. The intro. Don't give me yo, Meek Mill will always have the best intro and rap, you feel me? Dreams and Nightmare and an intro to uh, championships, bro, just too fire. So Meek Mill definitely deserved that top 10 in my list because Championship Man was a great album, great work, and he just explained everything on that album. Just Meek just, me just overcame a lot of things in his life, man. So Championship Man is definitely up there. Number six, I got some rap songs by Earl Sweatshirt. That project right there, even though I really got hooked into Earl Sweatshirt, couple months back, listening to that album really just 
touch me, son, because I knew what Earth Sweatshirt been through part prior to that album, and listening to that album, listening to the well, the production wasn't really that perfect, but like what he's talking about throughout the whole album really just made me understand where he came from 100 percent and it's just like that project really just it deserved my it just, just deserved the top 10 of my list dog honestly um so yeah i got earth sweatshirt at number seven um number six i got push it t now um push it t project was pretty good it wasn't it wasn't the best but push it t definitely gonna rap that's all i can say you feel me that album, that work right there was pretty good. I heard it a couple months back and I had to listen to it again, listen to it again, and it was actually pretty good. So push it T at number six. Definitely, definitely deserve it, man. Um, number five, I got Travis Scott. Um, when I first heard that album, I didn't really expect me to really enjoy how I enjoy it now because you know, I had a closed mindset for Travis Scott. I really didn't enjoy his music, but Astro World, I don't know, man. Something about it just like, like, yo, this this album is pretty good. You dig what I'm saying? But I, y'all know me. I wasn't a big fan of Travis Scott. You dig what I'm saying? So after listening to the album again and again and again, hearing it from other people, hearing it from the radio, and it's just like, damn, this album is actually pretty good. So Travis Scott at number five, I think, ten, nine. Yeah, number five. Um, so yeah, number four, I got. Damn, number four, I'm gonna go with probably Denzel Taboo. Um, when the project dropped, I didn't listen to it the first time, and then people kept recommending me to listen to it, to listen to it. Yo, this album is pretty good. So I took a listen to it and um, the first song I heard from that album was the song with Jid in it. I just decided to listen to every song in the album because that one song that he dropped with J.I.D. was fire, dog. It got me hooked. I'm like, you know what? Let me just listen to the whole album and see what's going on. The production was way better than Pusha T production of the album and Earth Sweatshirt. That's why I got it ranked higher. But other than that, I really did enjoy Pusha T album more. Then um, Denzel, but Denzel Curry album was just like, uh, it just, the production was better. And you know, the things that he was just talking about on that album was pretty good. So that is number four. Number three, I'll probably go with, is it number three? Yeah, number three, yeah. I'm gonna go with Kissy Ghost <clears throat> with Kuda. And um, Kanye West, I believe that album was pretty good as well. That collab was amazing. After Kanye West dropped his Ye album, and then hearing hearing that he got, you know, uh, a disorder and stuff like that, and then he come out and drop a, a joint album with Kuda, that was just amazing. And just to see what the things that he was talking about throughout that album, and just, you know, explaining his disorder and stuff like that, I really did enjoy that album. At number one, I'm gonna go with J. Cole with KOD. And I believe a lot of people sleeping on KOD don't know why everybody's sleeping on it, but like, no, me personally, that should win best rap album just because of what J. Cole is explaining to the rap community and the things that he went through while, you know, being introduced to the rap community. And I just believe that KOD was just an amazing project. And honestly, J. Cole had one great year. You know, he was doing collabs here and there. I think he collabed with like 13 people. And it's just like, wow. You feel and his album, he didn't even collab with nobody. He was just straight by himself. And he still did his thing. But he didn't get, you know, any recognition from, you know, the Grammys and stuff like that. But it's okay, you feel me? Grammys already rigged. So I ain't pushing it, you feel me? J. Cole know what he's doing. He did his thing. Um, so yeah, that's my top 10. You feel me? Cardi B, Mac Miller, Meek, Earl, right? Earl, <clears throat> Travis. I think I messed my list up because I got the top 10, but I didn't just put them. Hold up. Cardi B, Mac Miller, Meek, <clears throat> Earl, Denzel. 
No, no. Err, Travis, Denzel, Pusha T, KC Ghost, and J O K O and J Cole, K O D. So that's my top ten. Um, and my honorable mentions. I already said it in the video. I say Kanye West, um, J Rock, Drake, Post Malone, Lil Wayne, Metro Boomin, Eminem, and Vince Staples with F M. Kamikaze, Metro Boomin, The Carter Five, Bear Ponds and Bentley, Scorpion, Yay! In the comment section, let me know your top ten album of the year. And um, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.